All right, you guys are doing awesome. We've learned eight on a hand. We've learned bucks. We've learned Pepsi, Coca-Cola. And finally, we're gonna learn one last exercise using full strokes. And we're gonna call this one ones and twos. And it's really simple. We're gonna hit one time with each hand. And then we're gonna hit two times with each hand. And then we're gonna do that two times total, okay? So we call this ones and twos. So here's the way that we've usually taught it. So we're just gonna say California. Everybody say that with me, ready, go. California, cool. Can you do that four times? Say California four times and then say the word stop. All right, let's try that. Ready, go. California, 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 stop. So let's do it one more time. Ready, go. California, 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 stop. Four Californias and stop. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do regular right, left, right, left, right, left. Start with your right and the stop will be on the right. We're going to use full strokes. Everybody got it? Okay. So California four times using full strokes. Feet are shoulder width apart. You look like a beautiful, beautiful snare drummer. You have a perfect fulcrum. Stick divided into thirds. Thumb on the bottom part of the stick. Back of the hand will be slightly open and nice and relaxed. Okay. So let's go to plane position and sticks up. All right. California four times with a stop. California, here we go. California, 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 stop. Awesome. Did everybody do full strokes the entire time? Did everybody turn their wrist like they were waving bye-bye to Nana? Right? So wave bye-bye like you're a two-year-old, okay? Turn that wrist. Sticks are going up. Bouncing like a basketball, full strokes. Let's do that again. California, four times and stop. Playing position, sticks are up. California, ready, go. California, 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 stop. Awesome job, cool. Next part of the exercise, we're gonna do two notes on each hand. We're gonna go two rights, followed by two lefts. And what we're gonna say for this one is mama for your right hand and papa for your left hand. Okay, so I'll demonstrate. Sticks in listening position. Very good. So full strokes again. We're gonna go mama, papa, mama, papa, mama, papa, mama, papa, stop. Everybody understand that? Two strokes on the right, two strokes on the left. Mama is which hand? The right. Papa is which hand? The left. Mama, Papa. Okay, so let's give that a go. All right, standing up, nice fulcrum. Relax, your shoulders are down. You guys look amazing. Pizza slice, and the pizza slice goes up in the air. Boop. Okay, perfect. So, Mama, Papa. One and two, and here we go. Mama, papa, mama, papa, mama, papa, mama, papa, stop. Two, let's try it again. Here we go. Mama, papa, mama, papa, mama, papa, mama, papa, stop. Awesome job. Okay. Are we ready to put those two together? So we're gonna do a measure of California four times, and then we're gonna do Mama Papa four times, and then we're gonna do it again without stopping. Huh? So we're gonna add some trickery to this. California four times, Mama Papa four times. Then we're gonna go back to California four times and do Mama Papa again four times and then stop. Is everybody with me? You guys got it? All right, you guys go to listening position, please, and I'll demonstrate for you, okay? All right, so here we go. Set, shoulder width apart. 
pizza slice. Pizza slice goes up. We're going to use beautiful full strokes. And here we go. So we're going to go about this fast. California, California. One, two, this is me by myself. California, 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 California. Mama, Papa, Mama, Papa, Mama, Papa, Mama, Papa. California, 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 California. Mama, Papa, Mama, Papa, Mama, Papa, Mama, Papa. Stop. Whew! That's a mouthful. It's a lot of talking. Did you remember that we were going to do it again? So. California mama papa, but don't forget to go back to the California and we'll do it all over again. Okay, so let's give this a shot. Here we go. Ones and twos, otherwise known as California mama papa. Okay, so feet are shoulder width apart. We have our fulcrums in place and it looks amazing. And sticks are in playing position. And then we're going to go up. Full strokes, we're gonna go about this fast. So we're gonna go California. So we're gonna say it out loud as we go, okay? So make sure you're saying it as we're playing it. It's an old drumming saying. If you can say it, you can play it, all right? So we're always gonna count out loud. We're always gonna speak through all these things, okay? Here we go. California, here we go. And one, two, and here we go. California, California. California, California, California. Mama, Papa, Mama, Papa, Mama, Papa, Mama, Papa. Again, California, 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 California. Mama, Papa, Mama, Papa, Mama, Papa, Mama, Papa. Stop. Great job on all of this, everyone. So let's review all the things that we've learned since we started our beginning percussion class, okay? The most important things that we've learned are the stroke types and the exercises used to practice those stroke types, okay? So to review, how do you hold a drumstick? Divide the stick into thirds. Put your thumbprint on the bottom of the stick and wrap your index finger around. What is that pivot point called? A fulcrum. Toot, toot, toot. Wrap the bottom three fingers around. What are the three most common mistakes that we'll find when holding the drumstick? Number one, what's this called? Hitchhiker's thumb. What's that error? Thumbnail on the stick. What's wrong with this technique? The straight stick syndrome. So we have to make sure that that stick is off to the side. All right, so those are the grips. Making sure that we have a perfect pizza slice. Awesome. How should we stand? Feet shoulder width apart. We don't stand rigid or tense, and we don't stand like a soldier. We stand like an athlete, okay? So nice and relaxed, like a basketball player getting ready to shoot a free throw, all right? So we're nice and relaxed, um, or maybe we're a tennis player getting ready to return a serve, or a volleyball player who's ready, uh, you know, to, to return that serve on the other side of the net, okay? So shoulder width apart. What position am I standing in? Set position. Good. What position is this? Plain position. Very, very good. If your teacher is giving instructions, what position are we standing in? Listening position. All right. Very, very good. Okay. What kind of stroke is this? Full stroke. What kind of stroke is this? Downstroke. And what stroke is this? Upstroke. Okay. The back of the hand. 
when playing a full stroke, is the back of the hand open slightly or closed? Full stroke, open slightly. If we're playing a downstroke, is the back of the hand slightly open or is it slightly closed? Closed. All right. Back of the hand controls the front of the stick. So if we want the front of the stick to bounce up, the back of the hand is open. And if we want the back, if we want the front of the stick to stay down, the back of the hand is closed. Back three fingers closed. Awesome. Eight on a hand works on what stroke types? Full strokes. Bucks works on what two stroke types? Downstrokes and upstrokes. Double beat is a double stroke exercise. Pepsi Coca Cola, Pepsi Mountain Dew Mountain Dew is what type of rudiment? Single strokes, single exercise. All right. So the Pepsi Coca Cola, Pepsi Mountain Dew Mountain Dew is a single exercise. Lastly, ones and twos, otherwise known as Mama Papa California. All right. That is a single and double stroke exercise. So again, working on single strokes and your first foray into double strokes. Okay, so our homework assignment is to work on all of the stroke types using the exercises that we've already learned. So we're always gonna practice them in order. So we're gonna do eight on a hand, bucks, double beat, single exercise, ones and twos, okay? So on the Houston Music YouTube channel, we're gonna go to primary level term one, and there's a five minute and a 10 minute long play along. It has all of those exercises in it, and you simply follow along, okay? So it'll be up to your teacher to decide which one of those you're assigned with, Generally speaking, we play the short one during class and we'll play the long one when we're at home, okay? So that's a good 10 minute long exercise routine that we're always gonna do. So anytime that we're practicing snare drum, even if we're doing other assignments in the book, when we're at home practicing, we're always gonna start with that exercise routine, okay? That exercise routine is gonna be the foundation of all the drumming that we do um, through all of your public school education, all right? So get used to those exercises. We will learn new exercises and we will add on little bits to those exercises kind of as we go, but that's the basic idea. And um, it's something that is a good part of your routine and a good part of your process, okay? You guys are doing a wonderful, wonderful job. Congratulations on learning all the exercises and all of the different stroke types. All right, class. The last step in our review process is to actually demonstrate the things that we've learned about all of our stroke types and all of the exercises. So we are going to perform the stick and pad exercises, primary level one, right now.
purchase your copy of Developing the Percussionist Musician, click on the link in the description below, or visit the Developing the Percussionist Musician Facebook page and click Shop Now.